In this video, I'm gonna teach you step-by-step step how to build a successful one product Shopify dropshipping store, similar to some that have generated me millions of dollars. You're gonna watch me sit down and fully create a new store from scratch, similar to how I would do it for myself. So whether you're a beginner or intermediate to dropshipping, you're gonna be able to learn a lot of tips and shortcuts to make your next successful dropshipping store. So to get started, head down into the description and click the Shopify link where it's gonna take you to this page where you can sign up for completely free without using a credit card or anything, and you can get three months of Shopify for only $1. Now it's going to save you about $120 in running costs. So in times like this, you don't want to pass up any deals and you can take this extra $120 and put it towards your ads or whatever else you may need. So all you have to do here is enter in your email and it's going to go ahead and ask you a few startup questions. You can go ahead and skip all of this or answer it based on what you may need, enter in your location, and then you're going to be inside your store. So now you're going to be inside your new free Shopify store, but before we do anything else here, there's a quick itinerary of a list you need to follow in order to successfully build your Shopify store the right way. So we're going to go ahead and go through that. First, you get a domain, set up Shopify payments, import your product, build your homepage, and then install apps. In this video, I'm going to go through all of these steps myself so you can see it firsthand. So stay around because I'm going to show you guys a ton of time savers. So to start with step one and get your domain, there's two different ways you can do this. First, you can go through Shopify and click settings over here, then find your domains and click buy new domain. So for your domain, you're gonna want it to be something simple, catchy, either generalized, or if in our case, we're doing a one product Shopify store. So you're gonna wanna integrate it with your product somehow. For this store, I'm using this electric split ends trimmer. So I might call this domain something like split gone or something like that. And so people kind of know that split ends are gonna be gone, just something like that. Let's see if something's available. So splitgone.com is available. I can go ahead and buy it right here and it'll automatically link to my store. But there is two ways, like I said, you can do a domain. You can either pay their $15 a year or we can go ahead and take this domain and add one extra small step of going to namecheap.com where the domain is going to be significantly cheaper. And on here, it's gonna be $5 cheaper at only $10. But if you guys are still not wanting to spend that kind of money, I can put you guys on to a .shop domain where basically it's gonna only be 98 cents a year and it still looks relatively professional because it's gonna be split gone dot shop, something like that. And it's only gonna be $1 a year for this domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this one and show you guys how to do that. So now once you guys buy your domain, if you do choose to use Namecheap, there's a couple steps to get it linked to Shopify. All you have to do is go to your account dashboard, then click manage on the domain you just purchased, go to advanced DNS and then click Shopify in that DNS template. Once you do that, it's pretty much done and you're going to be able to go back to the domain section over here, connect the existing domain, type it in next, and then it's going to be completely connected. Done. Now the next step is to set up Shopify payments. So all you have to do to do that is go back to settings, click on payments, and then go ahead and select activate Shopify payments. Now all this is going to do is ask you for your address, a couple personal information questions, and then your bank account info so it knows where to deposit your funds. And then that is done as well. It's pretty simple. So now the next step is to import your product. I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to do this without any extra hassle or fluff. You're gonna to go to your Shopify app store over here, click add apps, then Shopify app store, and search up this app called DSers. It's a free app and it's gonna let you go ahead and import your product directly from AliExpress with only a couple clicks. Then once you guys go ahead and sign up for a free account on DSers, you're gonna click this button here and connect your AliExpress account. So it lets you do a one click import directly from AliExpress. So now that you've linked your AliExpress account, you can go ahead and install the DSers Chrome extension, which is gonna give you the option to go ahead and add products. So once we have our product here, as you can see, there's an option to add to DSers now on AliExpress, and it's gonna go ahead and import it to our import list. Once you have that, you'll go to your import list on DSers over here and now we have our product here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this to my Shopify store. You wanna select all of these options, push the stores, and now once I go to my Shopify store again, and now we have our split ends trimmer on my Shopify store directly from AliExpress with all the pictures, prices, and stock lists, and DSers is also gonna go ahead and take care of fulfillment. So once people order this from your Shopify store, it's automatically gonna to sync to this, and you can go ahead and fulfill them all from DSers, which makes the whole process a lot easier. So obviously, once you have your product imported, you don't want to use all of the AliExpress pictures. You can take some of them, but most of these main pictures aren't eye-catching enough and they don't look as clean as you'd want them. So you're basically just going to take this product, do a quick cutout, and go on Photoshop or Canva.com and go ahead and change out the background colors, make it look more professional. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and take some inspiration from other websites and come back whenever the product pictures are done. 
Okay, now I have some product pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this description because I'm gonna add a separate one inside the theme and then change this to the hair split ends trimmer. You kinda wanna make this branded instead of using the stock super long AliExpress name. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this split gone split ends trimmer or you can do electric split ends trimmer. And it looks a lot cleaner, more simple. It looks more professional and branded. And as you can see, these product pictures, I kind of just copied them from another website, cut out the product, took a little hand picture from Google and just added the product to that. So now we are done with this product picture. So to go ahead and add a theme, you guys are gonna wanna go to online store down here in the corner and then add a new theme because the same one that's added, Dawn, isn't necessarily the best, but there's a ton of free themes that you can use. One of my personal favorites is called Sense by Shopify. It's a free theme. You're just gonna click the add button and you're gonna be able to customize it from here and overtake the one that's automatically added to your store. So once you actually start editing your theme, you're most likely gonna wanna edit in the mobile form view over here because 90% of your audience, whether that's from TikTok, ads, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, they're all gonna be on their phones. So you wanna make sure the website looks the best in its mobile view. Obviously you don't wanna neglect the desktop view, but you wanna primarily edit it in mobile. It makes everything a whole lot easier. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is change up the color scheme. You wanna use a max of three colors, just so it looks clean and doesn't start looking like a whole different color palette of a bunch of colors. It makes everything look a lot more unprofessional. So I'm gonna go ahead and start editing all of these colors here with the same colors that I actually used in my product pictures. So once you have your color scheme set up, you can go ahead and add in a featured product, which is gonna make it easy for people to buy your product just from your homepage. Instead of having to click into the product, go to the product page and then purchase from there, it's gonna make them be able to do a quick one click purchase. And then you wanna get rid of a bunch of these other features that you don't need, like the share buttons, details, color, variations, all that. This is all super, super easy to get rid of. You're just gonna click on it and then click remove block. Now for the actual purchasing part, I wanna do a bundle instead of this add to cart slash buy now to where they can save money if they buy multiple. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that real quick. You're gonna to wanna to save and then go back to your Shopify app store and search up an app called Catching Bundles. Right here, install. So then once you have that installed and approved, you're gonna go ahead and create a deal and just call it whatever you want. You wanna keep the stock name here, bundle and save. That's personally had the best conversion rate for me, but you do wanna customize your actual bundle a little bit here because this itself doesn't look very professional how it comes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick specific selected products, select the one product that you're actually selling since it is just a one product store, and then go ahead and edit all of your prices and discounts. So the standard price for the split ends trimmer is $16.91. I can go ahead and change that in a little bit, but it's about a $7 profit from what I know. So for two of them, I'm going to go ahead and make it $25. So they're able to get a $16 discount estimate. So you want to go ahead and change the price as specific so you can change it. And I'm going to do it at $24.99. And then for number three, a trio, I'm going to go ahead and make it... $30. So they're getting three, basically one for free. So I'm going to go ahead and make that a specific price and change it to $29.99. So basically the way I strategize this is it's a pretty good deal to get two. You might as well get two if you're already buying one for only $10 more. But if you're buying two, why wouldn't you just buy three for only five more dollars to where now you're saving basically an extra $10. So it's a pretty good deal for a lot of people. And this gives me a super, super good conversion rate on all of my stores. So I'm going to go ahead and make the duo plan the most popular. So people are incentivized to buy that. And I use the fancy one to make it customized. And I usually make a round because personally, I think round looks more professional than that. And I'm going to go ahead and edit my colors here nice 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 most popular change to the same color as my product pictures and then now it looks pretty professional here i'm going to go ahead and save it and add it into my store so now to go ahead and activate the bundle that you just saved you're going to want to go over here to this third section click app embeds and activate catching bundles now as you guys can see now our bundle is inside of our product page. So they have the option to pick single, duo, trio, and go ahead and add it to cart or buy it now. So I'm gonna actually get rid of the buy it now button just by deselecting show dynamic checkouts. So they kind of have to add the duo or trio to the cart. And once again, this is automatically gonna edit the prices for you and make everything a lot easier. So I don't like how it shows pink here for the color variations. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that block. So it shows the name, price, 
I'm gonna get rid of the my store too, just to make it look as clean as possible. And now we have a blank canvas that already looks pretty professional. So I wanna show you guys how to go ahead and import your reviews and descriptions to make this look as good as possible. So for reviews, before you leave, you wanna make sure you always save your store and then go to apps again and search up Luke's, L-O-O-X. This is by far the best review app. It makes everything super, super clean and you're able to get a 14 day free trial on this and you'll have a great, good looking review stack. And now we can customize, go to app embeds once again and just enable Luke's course trip so it can automatically add your reviews to your product. Then go back to Luke's over here, try that again and it's gonna go ahead and give it to you here. So basically once you install Luke, it's just going to take you through a couple steps to go ahead and activate it on your store. Basically just add the script in, which is going to show you how to do on the screen. Click a couple buttons where it's going to take you back to Shopify and activate it. Wait for that to complete. And once it's done, it's going to take you back to your Luke screen right here, where you're able to go ahead and click on reviews and then import your reviews. So once you go to this import section, there's a little button here that you can drag into your Chrome bookmarks. So now I have my import to Luke's button here. Go to AliExpress, you wanna go ahead and find the product that you're gonna sell. Right here, as you can see, there's 293 reviews, and then just click the bookmark that you uh, added. Select the product, I'm gonna go ahead and select 100 reviews, and I add four stars and ups, and you want to do only reviews with the photos if you have a lot of reviews, just so you can get as many good reviews as possible. As you can see here, you can just go ahead and verify or delete photos if they don't align with your product. Most of these are gonna look good because it's from a verified AliExpress listing. I'm just gonna go ahead and add as many as I can in here and get back to you guys once I'm back on the store. So basically, if you want your review widget here, basically that just shows the stars somewhere on your product, you wanna to go to product information, add block, and then scroll down to apps and click rating widget. That's just gonna be your stars. And then you just wanna drag that up to wherever you want it. I want this above the title over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it there. Now it shows I have 53 reviews. And to actually get the reviews on the screen, once again, you are going to add another block down in apps. So it's below the product and go ahead and add a product reviews widget. So it shows all your reviews down here. Basically, as you can see, now we have a full review section with all our reviews. So when people are on our product page now, they can see our ratings, our title, our prices with our bundles. And then down here we have all of our reviews. We're gonna go ahead and add a few gifts here in a minute with some testimonials. I like to do image with text. So you can go ahead and put an image or GIF and then have some text next to it on either side. So you're gonna add one of those first. I'm gonna drag it above my reviews so people see this before. And for your image, I'm gonna go ahead and select some gifts that I just downloaded of this product from other stores. Basically just showing how it works. Add that to the gift section. And then you want to add something that's kind of introducing them to the product, showing them what it does or giving a wow factor statement. So when they see the product, they already come from your ad. So they know what it does. You can tell they're interested because they actually went from your ad to your store. But now you have to sell them even further on their product instead of buying. If they're scrolling, that means they're not fully sold on it yet. So as you can see here, I put this gift real quick and then said, say goodbye to split ends and then said using our hair safe technology, the split gun hair trimmer removes only damage and split hairs while keeping your healthy hair safe. So basically, is telling people give them that wow factor that they're able to just remove the split and damaged hairs while well, their normal hair is not going to be touched and affected because they're obviously not going to want to trim all of their hair out and it's pretty cool it basically just trims the hair that's sticking out and the hair that's split on the sides and you're going to go ahead and add one or two more of these just find them from google add another wow statement but as you can see, our store is already looking pretty much done. You'd wanna add a logo here or an announcement banner for my announcement bar. I'm gonna show you guys here. I'm gonna do just something like that that encourages people to buy it. And then as you're scrolling here, now we have our bundle. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So this is exactly what the product page is gonna look like for people on their phones. They're gonna be able to see a couple product pictures, our title, their bundle pack. They can select how many they wanna buy. There's gifts here, say goodbye to split ends, reviews, and basically this button here is just gonna redirect them back to buy the product. So once you've fully finished all these steps to finish your store, as you can see down here, it says your store is password protected to where people aren't gonna be able to actually enter your store and buy something. You can either click here, pick a plan, or just go to your settings and click plan down here. And as you're gonna see, it is gonna give you the option to choose a plan for only $1 for three months. So as long as you guys do use the link that's in the description of this video or any of my other videos, you're gonna be able to get that first three months for only $1. So choose your basic plan. It's only going to charge you $1 every 30 days. 
and then you're going to get charged the normal rate but that's after three months so here's a tip if you guys aren't able to make any money from this store within three months it's a probably a good sign to go ahead and close it down and either start a new store with this link for another dollar or go ahead and reevaluate find another product and do something differently because it should not take you more than three months to start making your first couple sales at least you should be able to make a few hundred dollars on whatever product you choose to sell as long as you're using the correct product i actually have a video that i just posted before this showing you guys the top 10 products that i would personally sell for december of 2023 so if you guys are interested in seeing what kind of products i would choose to sell go ahead and check out that video or I have a full in-depth Shopify course in the video before that. And in the description, I have a few links of product research websites that I personally use, obviously the Shopify link, and I have a full Google doc that I created of a format, what order to put things on your website and how I would personally format one if this wasn't enough help for you. And I'm also gonna be giving away a full one-on-one -on -one coaching call with somebody for an hour and a half. So if you guys are interested in a call with me so I can personally rate your store and give you some tips on help you may need, go ahead and leave a comment in the description telling me about your journey with dropshipping, what your goal is and why you think we should do this call and i'll be picking someone later this week to go ahead and do an hour and a half free call with i'm going to try to give you as much value as i possibly can so i hope this video was a good help to a lot of you guys once again if you guys have any questions leave a comment below i reply to everybody and i'll see you guys in the next video peace